If you're a military family, you might be familiar with the Fisher House. Fisher House Connecticut provides free lodging to military families and veterans while their loved ones undergo medical treatment. Here to tell us about a planned expansion is Kevin Creed, the CEO of Fisher House, and Susan Strabino, a military mom from Connecticut who has stayed at one of the Fisher Houses. Welcome to Connecticut Stand. Nice to have you both here. Uh, Kevin, give us a little bit of your background and how you got involved in this organization. Well, I uh, did uh, 24 years active duty in the Army, and uh, I, I did a, a couple of tours overseas, one in Iraq and Afghanistan. And um, that when I came home, I uh, determined that I wanted to do something to help out. I, I mean, I've been very, very fortunate in my life. I, mm -hmm. I have a law practice out of Bristol, Connecticut, and things are going very well. So I, I wanted to hook up with a foundation that really did some meaningful work for veterans at a critical time and that were above reproach. And I've, after research, I found the Fisher House Foundation. I think they're the greatest charity in the country nobody knows about. Uh, they, they're the highest rated charity in the country. Mm -hmm. uh, at, uh, in, here in Connecticut, I'm thankful and proud to say that we're, we also are very highly rated we have met with 97 percent of every dollar goes to the charity That's and uh, what it is is we provide like Ronald McDonald House services okay. for veterans and their families um, there's 60 of them around the country um, and the way they work is uh, God forbid let's say you're at home and you get the knock on the door that one of your loved ones has been Injured, Dis hurt, injured or sure. deceased, okay. uh, and you go to Dover Air Force Base to gather the remains. We have a Fisher House there, uh, so that you can. It's like a hotel, uh, and that you can sit, that you can get away from everyone, and you can have uh, some some necessary time to recover and to deal with the crisis. Mm -hmm. uh, then also, if the you know, the veteran, your loved one, is injured and mm -hmm. they and they come home and then they're transported out to active duty or VA medical center, we have a fi we have a Fisher House at almost every single uh, active duty and VA medical center in the country. They, they have a bedroom, a sitting room, a common hallway to a common kitchen, a laundry, a laundry room. Everybody thinks the laundry room is great. I'm and, sure it does. And well, they stay for free. Right. We should ask you this because you actually stayed at one of the Fisher houses. Tell us uh, the situation with your son. He was injured overseas. He was. Uh, he was injured in Iraq, and we did, we did, we did get that call uh -huh. that you are not prepared for, despite the preparation. Mm -hmm. And um, my son was brought to the United States to uh, Georgia. We live here in Connecticut. And we thought it was going to be a perhaps a long weekend mm -hmm. where we'd collect him and bring him back. Uh, the long weekend ended up being uh, nearly two months. Uh -huh. Army approached us, told us about the Fisher House, which we were not familiar with. And they hosted us for two months in a lovely, clean, wonderful environment. I mean, what would you have done if there wasn't a Fisher House? I'd probably still be paying off that debt sure. in a hotel, which would not have a laundry room, a kitchen, right. a living room. You were able to have your family there, weren't and you? I had my family, and I was close to my son, being mm -hmm. able to zip back and forth to the hospital where he was undergoing surgery, and then when he was transferred from Army Hospital to the rehab center, mm -hmm. I was able to go two and three times a day while he was undergoing oh, rehab. And it was it was comfortable, it was clean, it was safe, and it was close, sure, and, and it was free. I know she doesn't want to brag, but her son is a real hero, and he was injured in hand-to-hand -hand combat, really close quarter combat with the enemy, and uh, he was shot 13 times, and he was yeah. awarded the Silver Star for his service, and so she has a lot I, to be proud of. proud mom, absolutely. Um, yeah, actually, we're looking at uh, some pictures of your son. This was in Germany, Yes, correct? it was. Um, Kevin, the problem is that we don't have one of these in Connecticut. No, we don't. Uh, the, 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 the closest one is in Boston. And uh, when, I, when I started this project several years ago, uh, we raised money for Fisher House, the national organization. Uh -huh. And uh, we did about 15, 20 grand a year. Uh, and then finally they came up and they said, look, Kevin, a review of patient density indicates that we need a Fisher House at the VA in West Haven. Would you head up the effort to do so? Well, so that's what we're doing. Right, too. that's what we're doing. Some, that's we're going to raise some money. It's going to be big, 16,000 square feet. Right. Correct? It's a $6 million project. We have to raise half the money. Okay. And uh, so right now we're about 500,000, half a mil. And uh, we, have a, we hope to be close to a mil by the end of the year. And there's a number of wonderful projects coming up. Uh, uh, Harley Davidson is supporting us with a, uh, a motorcycle rally on September 1st okay. uh, that's going to end at New Britain Rockette Stadium. And we're, the, we're going to raffle off a motorcycle, and, and, and there'll be a big fireworks display, and it'll be a great night for everybody if they want to participate. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, we're going to have a half marathon in Bristol uh, with a lot of great supporters. Ron Carey, Auto Valet, is, is helping us tremendously with that, and many other supporters. And uh, that's, that's going to be on August 18th in Bristol. Okay. Uh, I think the, the Bristol Half Marathon on Relay.org is a website. Uh, all of this is listed on our main website, which is www.fisherhousect.org. 
board. And I also know that you're going to do a Dancing with Our Heroes. What's that about? That is an exciting event. Uh, the, 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 uh, the Fred Astaire people have come up and they're sponsoring a Dancing with Our Heroes type contest. It's going to be just like Dancing with the Stars. Mm -hmm. And uh, originally they booked the Omni Hotel here to do it, but then they ran out of space. So many oh, people have already signed fantastic. up. Oh, that's fantastic. So they had to move it to the Excel <laughs> Center in Hartford, and they're hoping to raise a quarter of a million dollars for us wow. on November 10th, Veterans Day weekend. That's fantastic. Uh, also, I'd like to mention, too, that the Elks Club in Westbrook is going to have a golf tournament, and that's on, let's see if I can remember the date here, August 26th. It's going to be at the Portland Country Club, and we'd like people, sure. if you're in the area, greater New Haven area here, and want to sign up to please participate. Everything is run by donations. The sure. Fisher House is built by donations of, of concerned people. Mm -hmm. um, I, I guess the, the final analysis, you know, we own this problem. Whether you're for the war or against the war, there are kids that have gone over and fought in Iraq, in Iraq and Afghanistan for us, and it's a, been a horrendous 10-year sure. uh, operation. We, you have four, probably 40,000 seriously injured men and women there's coming home. There's definitely a need for this. In fact, yes. let's put all that information up on the screen in case you are interested in helping out with any of the events. There they all are. And as Kevin mentioned, you could find all the information at fisherhousect.org. I want to thank you yes. both for being here. Thanks for sharing your story, Susan. Thank you for having us. All right. Stay with us. Up next, we're going to keep cool in the kitchen. Chef Mary Lawrence shows us how to put a vegan twist on tacos when style returns. We'll be right back.